Hi, this is Charlie Barley. In this video, I'm going to be talking about is just giving you guys a quick glance at the spreadsheet. Now, I was going to do the software and I had the software done, I actually had it paid for, but I did not. The only reason I was doing the software is because I did not have a way for you to access the software and I had issues over uh, securitization online, blah, blah, blah. So then I figured out a way to um, allow you guys to access the software. Well, the thing about the software is that it's not as good actually as a spreadsheet because the spreadsheet gives me real time data um, and, it, and it gives me data like instantly and I can actually do all type of um, reports and stuff really, really quickly on my side but what if it what if you can do that so that's the the new thing that I'm doing now is actually um, gonna allow you guys to actually run your own ship and I'm gonna show you how to do it but let me just give you an idea at the uh, the accuracy of this software or this um, the spreadsheet which is really a software it's in, built off a bunch of macros and formulas obviously um, so what I want to do here, as you can see, when I did that, you could see everything kind of changed. As a matter of fact, you know, let's just do, um, uh, well, the first thing you need to do, um, to just to get started, you're going to need first, you're going to need 30, um, 30 or more of different, the previous spins, because this is what creates the start of the algorithm. It starts to read based on the current flow and the pattern of the game. Now, what I want you to notice here is you can see how it's all negative. This is what we call cumulative units. So if we win a unit, now this is a zero, we win on all the zeros, it gives us five units. Uh, here, with it go, we made another five units right here, so it gave us 10 units, right? So forth and so on. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna throw some random numbers right in here. I'm gonna do maybe a hundred and I'm gonna see how this curve works. This is just gonna be purely random, all right? So, uh, these are again in no uncertain order, uh, just me plugging in some numbers. Um, haven't used 30s much. Uh, three, seven, let's have some repeat. Cause you know, you have a lot of repeats. Um, and we can see how you can actually see the game behaving now. Um, uh, six, I don't know. These are all uncertain. When I tell you there is nothing that this game can do uh, to stop this formula, there's nothing. All right. So just uh, let's just give it a quick glance test. So basically right here, uh, let's just go here just to give it a test. All right, so you can see what says red bet, black bet, unit size. Well, th this plus minus right here doesn't make a difference. This is just showing you the differential. So if it says whatever is dominant, that's where it's dominant. Black is dominant, obviously. It's more blacks than red. This three is saying how many units you're gonna have to play on black. And so we would have played three units on black here, and we would have lost three units, as you can see here. But what I want to show you is when we started, though, look at it was actually negative. And it bent itself out into immaculate shape here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. All right. So let's just look at a waterfall chart. Oh no, sorry. That's the wrong line. Let me look at this. This is the that's the cum that's the cumulative line. I just want to show you. So this is the amount of we have total. Okay, so we're total we're twenty four. But I want to show you the index the the way the index looked. 
All right, because so you can see, of course, we were dead. So you can see it was minus three when we lost another three. So now we're minus six. Oh, so let me just show you what the index curve looked like. Sorry about that, guys. So as you can see here, even when I plugged in random numbers, it didn't matter. The software picks, I keep calling the software, that the code picks up the patterns. Sometimes it picks them up really really quickly <laughs> sometimes it takes some time it just depends on the movement of the game uh, but there are areas where I can show you even when you're when you're playing this and you're using the soft when you're using this I'm gonna show you how you can go and start looking at these trend lines and seeing where you are currently at I mean your bankroll should pretty much tell you that but uh, <laughs> but you can look at the trend line though to say okay if we are plus 15 well it depends on your goal uh if, if your goal is 15 units in a session okay well you see where you are uh if you are minus you like right here it went m minus five units sometime it goes stagnant like that uh, if it goes minus 15 units there are things you can do for example like if it's if the system is calling for right here it called for a five uh, five unit bet on black and again I'm gonna be having videos that training videos teaching you the difference between units bet sizes blah 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 you're gonna see all of that when you register when you register when I send you all those videos the only reason I haven't sent them to you now is because I've developed a new system and I've been just so devoted in trying to figure this out how you can access the spreadsheet yourself and that way uh, the information is given to you much much quicker much much quicker so uh, you don't have to wait for a moderator to be sleep at the wheel or make a mistake you will have it right there um, so as you can see here it asked for five units on black so we would have played a five on black and it went red and we lost three units well and in this case it we we wouldn't have played five on black uh, what we would have played probably because it, if it was in a down spiral, we probably would have played three, uh, something like that. So let me go down here a little further here. Let's get, take a look at another one. Uh, here is an okay. Here is another five. Okay, so as you can see here, well, we end up winning. So it minus five here, and we would have played a five here. Now I could tell you. Let's go back here to this other five. So did you guys? Is it, well, for those who are going to be doing this, so that you guys are clear, where did I just miss that? Can I just do that? Uh -huh. I could have swore I just saw it. What was it? This one? Okay, yes. All right, so here's the deal, right? So there will be times in the game where it will ask you for a five, and you might play a five, and you might lose a five but the spreadsheet according to this says we're only minus only lost a unit uh, but the reason that that is is because generally what happens anytime a zero hits this the zero when, when we're talking about house edge and I'm not to get too deep into this right now but I just wanted to show you guys what the, what the software does anytime the the house the house edge comes up it doesn't really throw the salt the, the the calculation off but because that zero is an anomaly in the patterns of the game, it does throw off for like the next, not all, not all of them are that way. For example, let's give you an idea. So right after that zero, this was very accurate. One minus one. This was, it actually called for one unit on red. And well, well that was right one unit on red we lost that one so this was right this was right but this one was wrong you could as you can see here this minus three and it called for five also this minus five and it gave us a minus three so sometimes this will happen but just remember anytime after a zero for like the next six spins if you're at a deficit and it calls for a five i'm going to give you training on this so don't worry about it the only thing you have to do is just don't bet a five. You can just simply bet something smaller like a three. And even if you lose it, you won't be losing five. But even if you lost 
five. It doesn't matter. The algorithm, this is this only happens occasionally when zeros hit. Occasionally. But it will not matter. Uh, but and you'll see it sometimes. You'll see you'll see the differential won't necessarily add up. That's because it's trying to under it's trying to recognize this as a pattern flow. And it's and it's, it's assigning it a value that's really not a part of the pattern. And sometimes it gets into the code and then that's what it looks like. But it doesn't stay that way. As you can see here, everything lines up. If you want to see the lineup, like three, three, one, one, five, five. Like again, don't worry about this minus or this negative or minus here, because that's just it's just saying the differential, whether it's minus or positive. So if it's four, that's a difference of three. You're going to be playing three units, right? If it's five, you're going to be playing five. If it's five, so forth and so on. Okay, guys. My whole point again is just to show you the dynamics of even when you do it randomly. Okay, there's nothing that the game can do it does nothing and i i did not i just pulled those numbers out it didn't random numbers okay anyway guys just wanted to throw that out at you uh team play is going to be coming real soon i'm excited for you i'm excited for me i'm excited for everybody who has um stuck a part of this journey um this is going to be a kick butt program and I'm just excited. So, 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 so be patient. I still have a lot more I need to do to iron out any uh, type of, uh, you know, fallacies or inconsistencies that I may have on a process level. Once that's done, which should be done in the next two days, uh, I'll be sending everybody who has registered an email. All right. You'll be getting a e oh, excuse me. Oh, well, yeah. You'll be getting an email and that email will be to a link where you can watch all the tutorial videos and start registering for a session. You're not going to get an email just because you sent me an email. You only get this email if you registered on the uh, on the website. You have to pre-register for the game, the 14 play. You have to pre-register. OK, so go to the website pre-register that way you can get these emails that are about to start uh, hitting the uh, boxes within the next two days okay guys and so hopefully we'll be starting we'll be looking forward to having maybe some of our, our first people come on uh, as early as next Thursday okay so I just wanted to throw these guys out here at you and let you know that things are just moving up uh, I'm just so brimming with excitement as you probably can hear um, there's training that you're going to be provided is real simple guys is really really simple it's not really a whole lot you're going to have to do other than plug in the numbers here and read what it's telling you to do that's really all you have to do uh if you are in a down slump and you want to save time uh when it's asking you to play a five unit you just play maybe a three if it's asking for a three maybe a two until you come out of the slump or what you can do is just don't play at all. You can literally just plug in the numbers. And then once you see the index starting to do this, then you jump in. Why? Because for 50,000 straight spins, if you look at some of my old videos, you'll see it. 50,000 straight spins. The index is gone straight up. The only reason it's going straight up is because of the algorithm expression is based upon a limited variable system. Sounds nerdy. Sounds nerdy. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, guys, until the next time, take care. If you need to register, permutationspro.com, go right up at the top. If you want anything else from me, if in terms of the uh, single play strategies, those are also 50% off. Uh, but obviously, I can certainly, the, the thing about this, the team play, is that not everybody is going to be able to do it. Um, unfortunately, I can't have everybody doing it all at once for hours every day. It's not going to work that way. So, um, but. They're going to be what, so as long as you're consistent when you do have the opportunity, you could always increase the value. You could always increase your minimums. OK, that's how you can uh, make up for any quote unquote lost time. And we'll talk about that in some of the other training videos. All right, guys, to so the next time. Take care. Register if you want to get all this other stuff and um, and it'll be coming through to your emails within the next two days. And then from that point, you can register for sessions. Okay, guys, till the next time, take care.